Take them out of the knees, babe. Okay, that's that's my motto of life. Hey, yo guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well, per usual. If you're new here, you're jumping on over here from another creator's channel, probably one of my amazing co-hosts. My name's Maggie. I am the master creator of the Romance Readathon. This year, this is the second year that I have done this. It's a completely different theme, completely different gameplay from last year, and also, this is one that I did not build by myself. So I wanna say a quick thank you before we get into all the details to my amazing Patronis. Every one of these ladies have helped me build this and have made this into what it is. And I'm telling you right now, this is a sick readathon. This is really, really cool. There's a lot of really cool aspects to it. I promise you, this is not complex as a participant. It's gonna be very fun and very easy. And I just wanna thank all of them because they have such amazing creative ideas and I wouldn't have been able to make this as amazing as it is without them. So thank you guys. I appreciate you and I love you. And I hope you know that I'm terrible with words, but I love you. Anyways, the announcement video here, this is gonna go over all the details, how you're gonna get points, where you're going to log them, where we're gonna be chatting, the challenges, the puzzles, merch, the co-hosts, the teams, all of that jazz. It is a lot, I recognize it, again, I promise. This isn't difficult. It's really not confusing. When Once you're playing it, it's very, very easy. Okay? Promise it, babe. Promise it. But I'm gonna leave everything in chapters for you. You can click the links to the chapters down below or just skip around the video. If you're a veteran readathon person, you likely don't need to sit through this whole video. I'll be straight with you. If you want to, Ayo, love you, appreciate you, babe. But you don't need to. First things first, let me just say, Discord link is right down below if you just wanna pop on over and chat with all of us. There is hint, hint, a way to get points now, even though the Revathon doesn't start till September 1st. And gaining those points will be very beneficial for you in the first week when something specific happens, which will give you some really great abilities. Okay, so I'm just saying, maybe pop over there. Anywho, as far as the readathon goes, just kind of some general stuff before we get into the nitty gritty. This is Discord based, so you will need Discord. This is competitive and you can attack one another. This is a readathon where if you're participating in one of many other readathons that are going on right now, there's tons of amazing ones going on. If you read a book for those, you can log it for this too, okay? Not a big deal. Thirdly, you don't just have to read romance. I won't do that to you. That's what I will do because I only like romance, but you can read literally any genre. So that being said, let's get into the nitty gritty. So as far as like general concept goes here, basically we're following the traditional storyline of Phantom of the Opera, but we're changing it up a little bit. And your actions, your team's actions each week will actually affect the storyline, which you will see in the weekly newspapers that pop up on Discord. So there's five teams all represented by different characters, which you will choose. And they're all trying to basically win the love of Christine. And the way you do that is having the most points by the end of the readathon. And there's a variety of different ways to get points and abilities to help you gain points or to help you diminish the points of other teams. So the classic way, and if this is the only way you wanna do it, you don't wanna be a part of like the attacking side, you don't have to do that. You can just read your books and you log them. There's ways to get additional like bonus points, which we'll go over the point structure in a little bit, but you can read certain books that will give you extra points. You log it, make sure you, you click the correct team, and then you can also gain points through challenges. Again, these are optional. I recommend you're a part of them. They're very fun and I worked hard on them, but there's additional challenges that you can choose to be a part of. One being, and this is the easiest, and I honestly highly recommend you try to get everybody on your team to do this, is the social media challenges. I'm not kidding you when I say they're very easy. You can post them to either Discord or to your Instagram and just hashtag like a co-host me or one of the phantoms. So those will pop up weekly. And then the other way, the main way, if you will, is the phantom is absolutely gonna be trying to sabotage you. He is an active player in this game, baby. He, of course, wants Christine, and I wrote him as a villain. I know we all love him and I know we all want him, but um, he's not really morally gray. He's just kind of a bad guy, okay? Which I mean, is still fun. The Phantom is gonna be trying to sabotage you. So he will send you vaguely threatening or maybe directly threatening letters every week that will show up in your mailbox on Discord and you need to solve his challenges. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. I'm not even gonna give you a hint at what they are, but I would say you should work as a team to solve them, but you need to figure out what the answer is to whatever he put into his letters. 
okay? If you can't figure it out and you need a hint, you'll need to contact him and you guys can negotiate a deal on how much you pay him for that. If you don't solve it, then he will take points away from your pot. And if you would like to attack another team, then you have to do it when the phantom is communicating with you. So when he sends you a letter, you can give back your answer and then mention that you wanna use so many of your points to attack another team, okay? You can't attack the phantom though, he's untouchable, all right? He is the master of this domain, it's his opera house. So you can't touch him. But you can touch other team members, which I recommend. Take him out at the knees, babe. Okay, that's, that's my motto of life. <laughs> but anyways, those are some different ways to get extra points. But there's also some activities that will help you gain abilities that will affect the points. Whether it can be attacking other people in very specific ways, or helping you gain even more points in specific ways. So the two different methods that will happen is just your natural reading. If you hit certain things, which I will put them here, if you hit these different things, these will unlock abilities that you guys are able to use. Some of them are offensive, some of them are defensive. So if you guys wanna strategize, make sure you talk over in your Discord channels. You will have your own team-based chats so you guys can figure out how to gain as many points as possible. Or in the fun way that I'm really excited about is there's going to be two auctions. One of them is gonna be within the first week. This is the one I gave you the hint hint earlier for the way to gain points in August. This is gonna directly affect that. You're gonna have a thing called a trope pot, which is essentially kind of like your money bag that does not affect the points to help you win the love of Christine, but it helps you buy abilities. And basically every time you log a book that you read, if there was certain tropes that were within it, that's gonna gain points for your money bag or your trope pot. So you wanna try and have as many or as much of this as possible because during the auction, it is blind and it's blind in a multitude of ways. Firstly, you have no idea what the abilities will be. <laughs> so you're just gonna see, oh, I'm trying to win a mirror, but you won't know what the power of the mirror is unless you actually win it. And the way you win it is by putting up however much money you think it might be worth. So, and this is blind in the sense that you don't know what the other teams are going to be putting up. Let's say your team was like, oh, I'll do 500 on the mirror. And the other team ended up saying they'd do 900. They're gonna get it. And you will never know what the ability is. Only they will know. And they're damn good abilities. They're better than the ones that you get naturally from reading that we just went over. They're very good. So I highly recommend you participate in the auctions. So just wanted to give you a heads up on those. Those are all the different ways to gain points and also ways to affect your points, okay? So moving on to the next thing. So let's talk points now. So here is the points graphic, which is over in the Google Drive and also on the Discord in case you need like a quick little reminder. But essentially how you get your reading points mainly the kind of main set is based off of your page count. So there's no way to use novellas to try and strategize to get extra points. Okay, made it a little harder this year. But basically, if you have a 275 page book, then you get 275 points for that book. Okay, or whatever you read. Like I said, it can be any genre. I don't care if it's a novella. I don't care if it's a novelette. I don't care if it's two pages, doesn't matter just put whatever the page count is. If you're reading a graphic novel, basically you need to take whatever the page count is and divide it by four. So it's only worth a quarter just because there's nowhere near as many point or many words on that page, okay? So that's how you get your main points. You can get extra points based off of hitting certain prompts, but they're optional. One being if you have a gothic atmosphere, doesn't have to be a romance book yet. This could be gothic anything, gothic sci-fi, gothic horror. I don't care. You'll get an additional 25 points if it's a romance book or if like the secondary plot of whatever book you're reading is romance, I'm cool with you counting that, okay? So if you're reading a fantasy book and the secondary plot's romance, feel free to count it. That's an additional 25 points. And if you want an additional 50 points, then it's basically a Phantom of the Opera retelling or reimagining, which it needs to state that in the synopsis. You can't just say that it is. And then lastly, talking about those trope pot points that we were just discussing, basically, if you read your own team's tropes, which when we go over the teams, I'll let you know what two tropes represent them, you'll get an additional 100 points that go into your trope pot. Remember, this is not gonna affect if Christine will love you by the end. This is just a way to kind of gain money, if you will, to buy abilities. 
So if you read your own team's tropes, you get 100 points. If you read another team's tropes, you get 50 points. So don't feel like you're locked into only your team's tropes. All right, don't worry, you're gonna get points regardless, which I highly recommend you go check out other teams like recommendation videos and even their announcement videos because a lot of them are also gonna be providing you guys with recs. So go check those out. Now there's one more way to actually get even more bonus points. And this is actually by filling out optional stuff on the book log. You don't have to fill out the entire book log if you don't want to, but there's ways to get an additional five bonus points. And this will be for each thing that you list. But essentially you'll get an extra five points if you give me a star rating, spice rating, you tell me what the genre was, if it was an indie author, if it had BIPOC rep or it was a BIPOC author, LGBTQ rep or author. If you tell me these things, even if you say no, I will give you an additional 25 points. Reason being is because at the end of this readathon, I will be posting a searchable spreadsheet that will give you all of these books, the spice ratings, all of the different like details that I just listed for you. So you actually have a searchable list of books you might want to check out in the future. You may say you want like a five-star book that has um, a BIPOC author and it's like a three chili pepper rating. You can just put those searches in and you'll have a list of books for you. And that will be completely free. It's like my gift for you for participating, okay? But again, those are optional for you guys to fill out on the book log. Now moving on. So for your teams here, I will go ahead and give you all the characters. I will give you their tropes. And then of course, the amazing co-hosts, your amazing team leaders. So the first up here, we have the opera owners, which this will be represented by Jess and Kristen. Your tropes are going to be age gap and billionaire. And your characters are the billionaire twins, Amir and Zara. Now, let me state something for the billionaire section here. Billionaire, it doesn't have to be modern day. It doesn't have to say billionaire, but there just basically needs to be a large wage difference. Like in Akatar, Tamlin is basically the prince of his kingdom. He lives in a castle and Feyre is basically penniless. So that I would count as billionaire, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now the next one is the opera singer which is represented by Jen and Monica. Your tropes are gonna be enemies to lovers and forced proximity, and your character is Stella. Next up is Raul. This is represented by Crystal and Katie. Your guys' tropes are friends to lovers and second chance romance. Now the next team is the ballet dancers, represented by April and Amber. Your tropes are why choose and shifters. Now the ballet dancers, this is about five different characters. We have he's, she's, and they's, and they are a quite interesting bunch. And then last but not least, we have the stagehand, represented by Sam and Joanna. The tropes for them is the morally gray and opposites attract, and this could be a variety of ways. It could be the jock and the smarty pants. It can be the grumpy and the sunshine. It doesn't matter, but they just need to be opposites in some way. All right, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you know what team you might wanna be on. When you got, jump over to Discord, you'll see at the top where you're gonna be able to actually pick your team to unlock all of the threads where you'll able to you're able to chat, receive your letters, receive your abilities, all of that jazz, okay? So speaking of that, let's pull up the Discord threads. So if I go to your teams here, you're gonna see you have different threads that you can talk in. Your mailbox is where you're gonna receive all of like your phantom letters, any abilities that you bought at the auction or any abilities that you unlocked while your team was reading. You'll have a strategy chat. This is essentially where, you know, only your team can see this conversation. So if you wanna form any sort of strategy, you can put it here if you're talking about how you wanna attack other teams, things like that. If you go up, you scroll all the way up into the community, you'll also see a chit chat. This is where you can talk to everybody that's a part of the readathon. If you're trying to, I don't know, strategize with another team or if you have a question for them, you need to do it up here. But down in your actual team specific section, your strategy chat, only your team members can see it, okay? If you have any questions, if you have an answer for a phantom letter 
or if you have a question about it, whatever it might be, just hashtag phantom and one of us will come over to help you. Uh, there's also a polls section. This will be open to my phantoms and then also your team leaders will be able to create polls if you guys kind of want to vote on doing something. And then lastly, you're going to see your trope pot. This is gonna, I'm basically going to be listing all of the points every week, I'll update it every week for you, that you guys have accumulated here. So that way you know how much you're able to spend. You won't be able to chat in this. This is just more so to kind of keep things organized so you can reference this if you wanna participate in the auction, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. The mailbox, I can't remember if I just said it or not, my memory's going. The mailbox is where you're gonna be receiving your letters from the Phantom. This is where your team led, your team leaders will be able to answer the phantom's letter and also let the phantom know if you'd like to attack another team and how many points you would like to attack them, okay? So that's the whole Discord side. Once you go over there, I recommend just kind of popping around, kind of see what's available. Everything you need is over in the Discord. Again, it's linked down below. If the link doesn't work, comment, let me know. Get in touch with me some way. Now in regards to keeping you updated on your reading points to give you your standing as far as like if Christine's really liking you this week, liking your character, there's a newspaper that you will receive. There will be a section that is gonna be telling you about the storyline that I will be writing, everything that has happened within that week. Again, this story is going to be actively changing every week based off of what you guys choose and what you guys do and also what the Phantom has done to you, which again, the Phantom's going to sabotage you. I'm not kidding you uh, when I say he's a villain. He's probably gonna be able to do things that will make you angry. So just, you know, mentally prepare for that. But there's a story section. There's a social media section. This is where the social media challenge will pop up for you guys. So make sure you check this every week. And then there's also gonna be a section for the points. This is all averaged by the way, so we can kind of keep this fair. It says nothing about the trope pot, says nothing of the sort, it doesn't mention how many of these were bonus points or if you unlocked abilities. It's just your reading that has been averaged, okay? So that will give you your standing, okay? So make sure you keep a lookout for this. I believe I will be posting them on Saturdays. So keep an eye out. So that basically explains the active part of the readathon, the September part of the readathon. But for the month of August, there's actually some additional activities while we're waiting. You know, it always feels like it takes forever when we want a readathon to start. But I will be having some extra activities just for funsies. Again, though, you do have that ability to gain those extra points, which is, I'll let you know now, build your TBR, post it on Discord or post it on Instagram. That will give you points. I will also create a log for you to say that you did it. All right, so make sure that you submit that and that you did your TBR and you post it over on the Discord before week one, and that will give your team trope points for your first auction. But that's one thing that we'll be doing. We'll also be having just like some reading sprints just to kind of hang out. We'll be doing some like games. There's actually games on Discord so we can all be together and have a crazy fun night. And I was also thinking about doing a Phantom of the Opera movie night. I won't be streaming it just because I've had issues with Discord trying to stream it. So we'll all basically just hit play at the same time. So stay posted for those. I will let you know when those are happening over on the Discord. I also have a section for all of you booktubers or content creators. I want you guys to feel like you're a part of this. Like even though me and my phantoms created this, my Patronis, this is meant for everybody. You know, so everybody be a part of it. If you wanna make videos, if you wanna host a reading sprint, please do. I have a reading sprint calendar. Feel free to actually fill it out. It's over on the Discord, there's a link to it. You'll see how to fill it out. It's just like your name, your link, all that jazz. And then that way people can find your channel. People can be a part of the reading sprints. We all love those. So please, 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 please feel like you're a part of this. You're just as much a part of this as I am. Okay, now in regards to the reading sprints as well, my co-hosts will also be doing them. You guys can actively check out the calendar. We will also let you know when they will be occurring. And my phantoms are also going to be doing reading sprints. So a couple of them actually have some channels. So I will list them here as well as below along with all of my co-host channels. So please go check them out. I'm gonna start a playlist too of their videos for all of this stuff for like recs and TBRs and all that jazz. So definitely check it out. And then the last two things, one being on Instagram, the Phantom 
has his own social media page and he can kind of be a little bit of a dick. I'm not gonna lie, he's, uh, he's kind of full of himself. So you might see him pop up. He might make a comment on some of your stuff. Um, you might want to check out his stories. His name's phantomdaddy.69. If you can't tell, he, like I said, he's full of himself. So just, you know, keep on a lookout for him or if he happens to make a comment on any of your stuff, don't be um, upset if he says something mean, because he does that. But anyways, keep a lookout for Phantom Daddy 69 And then lastly, merch. If you guys would like to purchase any merch, I have over on Bonfire, I have sweatshirts and shirts and all that jazz, but I also have, well, let me fix this. I also have bookmarks. I have ribbon bookmarks, like you guys can see here, if you like more of a fancy one. And then I also have Paper bookmarks, okay. There's a Phantom Daddy 69 one. I have a uh, opera ticket. I have some other Phantom ones. And then a team-based one, which is actually a telegraph letter from the Phantom, which he will write you a personal letter for your specific team. These, you won't know what his message will be. This one specifically is for the opera owners and it says, this is my opera house. I expect obedience, the Phantom but yours might say something different, even if you're an opera owner. So it changes and it will be a mystery message that you will know once you open up your mail. So that's over on my Etsy. I will link all the merch links down below as well. I have it in my link tree over on my Instagram and over on the Romance Readathon Instagram, which I will also try to link below. There's a lot of linking going on, so bear with me here. But yeah, if you guys would like something to kind of remember, your experience for the Romance Readathon, I have these bookmarks. So I hope you like them, worked hard on them. They are actually environmentally printed. So every time that um, I basically purchased a set of these bookmarks, it helped planted a tree, helped remove plastic from the ocean. And then also the ink that's used is biodegradable and safe for the earth. So I'm very happy with the company. Anyways, that is officially it. Um, I'm sweating. I'm hot because I think I mentioned this before. It's hot and humid outside. My windows are now closed and I'm in a sweater and I'm talking a lot. So yeah. Anywho, this is probably going to be a hoot to edit. Again, let me say thank you so much to my phantoms, my Patronis who helped me build this. These are all of my Patronis that helped me build this, like I said, helped me made this possible. And I just want to say a huge thank you. My co-hosts, I can't believe you said yes. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Humble little old me. Thank you so much, you are so incredible. And I hope you enjoy it as well. So I hope you guys like my readathon. And um, yeah, oh, also just last thing, I know this is kind of weird, last year, um, people wanted to say thank you and I appreciate it. I think, thank you so much for wanting to be a part of it. Um, but people are asking me about my own sort of like list, like um, my wish list. And I don't post that personally. That's just not um, what I want. I'm a giver, okay? I don't, I suck at receiving stuff. So I would much prefer if you guys bought like a bookmark or something, if you want to say thank you monetarily wise. And then that way you still get something and then I don't feel bad. And then again, I will post that uh, spreadsheet that will give you a list to kind of search for five-star rated books or spicy books or BIPOC books or indie author books, you know, things like that. So I will post that at the end. Anyways, I hope I went over everything. I know it's a lot. It's gonna be fun. So I'll see you guys over on Discord. Bye.